Giovanni Grimani reimagined the way art collections were exhibited and shared. His exceptional collection of ancient art was admired for its importance as well as its beautiful presentation, attracting important visitors from all over Europe. As a result, Giovanni became an extraordinary ambassador, not just for ancient art, but for exporting Venetian culture. In 1592, he bequeathed over 200 pieces of ancient sculpture to the Venetian Republic to institute one of the first public museums in European history. Hello and welcome to The Collection by Colnaghi. I'm your guide, Jacob Coley, the Associate Director of Colnaghi, New York. Today we'll be discussing Giovanni Grimani's renowned collection of antiquities and after four centuries away, its return to its original location. The Grimanis were a prominent Venetian patrician family which included three doges. They were active in trade, politics, and later the ownership of theaters and opera houses. The family art collection originated with Cardinal Domenico Grimani, Giovanni's uncle. Upon his death, Domenico donated 16 Greek and Roman antiquities to the Republic, which were installed at the Doge's palace. Giovanni's older brother, Mareno, had also amassed a notable collection, consisting of metals, small marble and bronze sculptures, as well as some beautiful tapestries which hung in the family's Venetian residence. At Mareno's death, the majority of his collection was appropriated by Pope Paul III, which Giovanni later repurchased in 1551. Fearing the dispersal of his collection after his own death, Giovanni appealed to the Senate in a letter dated February 1587, offering his collection in total to the Republic, provided that the pieces would remain united and governed, suggesting he had an early understanding of the importance of object conservation. Moreover, Giovanni mandated that the works from his collection be reunited with those that his uncle Domenico had bequeathed to the Republic over half a century prior. These had been largely neglected and many were in need of restoration, prompting Giovanni to insist that all the family's antiquities ought to be placed, quote, in a public location where they could be appreciated by visitors as one of the marvelous things in the city of Venice. <laughs> 